my favorite stories to tell is actually about um, a gentleman who never married and never had a family, but who was deeply grateful for the fact that his parents had raised him in the faith with a strong commitment to the work of the church and also had given him uh, his opportunity to get a college education and in fact move on and get advanced education. And he was so attuned to the fact that anything that he had received in terms of his faith upbringing and his education and then subsequently his ability to do his work in the world had all been a gift to him from from God first and foremost but also from his family and from members of his congregation and other places who had provided these opportunities for him and so I had the opportunity to be around the table in some initial conversations with him just to help him try to understand and articulate what his values were around his desire to create a legacy that would ultimately say thank you for what he had been given. And what we ended up doing was helping him put together a plan that would create more income for him during his life, a gift called a charitable gift annuity, and then ultimately provide a remainder, a gift at his death, then for his congregation, the congregation that he had been a member of most of his life, the congregation that he had been raised in, the schools that he had attended, and in fact, this first gift of a charitable gift annuity turned into one more, and one more, and mm. one more, and to the extent that uh, he was basically able to fund his long-term care needs with the income that he was getting from these charitable gift annuities. And in fact, now at age 93, he's comfortable in his retirement home, and his plan is that his entire estate will benefit at the time of his death, his congregation, uh, and in fact, um, many, many of our church-related colleges and seminaries uh, for which he has this very personal relationship.